Hi everyone, just uh, just going to give you a garden update uh, for July. This is the front yard. Sorry about the sound in the, the background, it's a very high traffic area. Also it's a very windy day, it's a very hot day as well. So like I said, it's it's now July, so things are, are growing full force. Um, my Miscanthus sinensis is, uh, is getting quite big. It's uh, probably getting close to five feet tall at the moment. Right beside it we have uh, the tall garden phlox. It's just started to flower, so it's it's a really pretty pink variety. I've got some uh, sedum growing uh, as a ground cover in the garden. Uh, it's looking lovely. I like the contrast of the, the yellow leaves. This is my Musa Baju. Um, it's uh, I guess it's getting close to being uh, four feet tall. It came back really, really well. Um, let's look down in here. There's uh, all kinds of new little babies growing. There's one I'm pointing at, another one there, another one back in the back. And there's another little baby sprout going on there. So I also dug one of these out uh, for a friend at work. And uh, so that means that I would have had nine plants this year from one that I planted last year. It's fantastic. So I've got my plumeria here. This is just like a, a bed for my tropicals, where as you can see, I've just uh, sunk the pots into the ground. The plumeria, this is their first year with me. Um, I bought them last last fall and I ended up growing them under the grow lights for, for the winter because I didn't know if the cuttings would survive uh, all winter. I don't know uh, when they took the cuttings that they sold, uh, so I, didn't, I just wanted to be safe that they wouldn't dehydrate too much. Uh, and over here, a friend of mine uh, went off to Cuba and she told me about spider lily. So uh, she was trying to see if I could, uh, uh, well first just uh, let her know what variety or what plant it was. And uh, we figured out that it was a spider lily. So she asked if I could find her some, and so I did. So I planted one of the bulbs in my garden to see how it would grow, and I gave her a bulb. Hers is actually flowering, uh, but mine, uh, mine doesn't seem to be doing as well as hers. It still looks okay, but no flowers yet. My, uh, my coleus are doing quite lovely, a lot of color. This, uh, this shrub here was just uh, as a part of a, a Christmas uh, basket and uh, I just planted it outside and it's growing wonderful. I didn't expect it to survive, but it's, uh, it's grown about a foot since I put it in there last year. All my boxwoods are looking quite nice. I used to have uh, daylilies down at the bottom of my uh, Japanese maple, but the, the daylilies, they were stelladoros and, and they were getting way too tall. They were growing almost twice the size that they, they were supposed to. I think they're supposed to be around 12 to 15 inches tall. Mine were about 24 inches tall, so they 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 came into the top half, or the better than middle, middle half of the, uh, the Japanese maple. So I ripped them out, and I've got some ornamental grasses down there. Let's see how they grow. I've never grown them before, so they look pretty uh, in the clumps that they had them in in the garden center. Uh, my mums are uh, are looking lovely. They're starting now to put out flower buds. It's been such a, a warm year that they're starting to flower a little bit early. So I've been trying to, to remove some of the flower buds to sort of bushes out more. And, and it doesn't actually flower yet. So fingers crossed, I don't want it to flower midsummer. It just looks strange to see uh, fall mums flowering in the middle of summer. My barberry over here is looking quite nice. There's not a lot of new growth on it, but uh, the new growth that I have is, is lovely, very healthy. And the new garden across here that I planted I just basically did annuals, and they're all looking quite nice. I did find these uh, geraniums uh, off in, in, in uh, the ditch of the new construction here, and it was a, a very beautiful blue variety. So I dug that up and uh, split it into three different clumps all around this tree, 
and uh, the, 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 the growth that was on it originally had died, uh, but I've been watering it diligently and now I've got new growth, so it's going to survive. Hopefully it will send out some flowers by the end of this year. Um, no guarantees, but as long as it survives, next year will be a new year. I'll, uh, I'll be happy with whatever I get. So that's, uh, that's pretty well my front yard. I did have a, a water lotus last year. I thought it was dead, but as you can see, they are uh, still alive. So uh, we'll see how this grows. I'm going to put it beside the garage where it gets direct sun all day. I have a goldfish in there right now, uh, but he, you can't see him. He always seems to, to go for the, the bottom of the pot. So that, that's growing nicely. I didn't expect it to survive, but uh, here it is. And I just used a, just a, I used to use them as water buckets at the horse farm, but uh, I guess uh, it works just as well for, uh, for water lotus. And here are the planters here against the door. They're both matching planters, as you can see, on either side. Uh, this papyrus is doing quite lovely. Uh, it's very, very airy. It, it gives a, a really interesting effect. All the new growth under there, it's looking phenomenal. And I decided to uh, plant some uh, some shamrocks in with the, the stuff I had already planted. I had these shamrock bulbs uh, down in the basement and I, I uh, potted them up and I thought instead of just throwing them away, I, I'd, uh, I'd put them wherever I could. So, but the, the flowers are looking nice. They need to water everything. But uh, it's, it's coming along. We still have another couple of months of the hot, hot weather, so things are going to really explode. I'll uh, give you guys another update uh, sometime in August. So stay tuned for that, and uh, happy growing, everyone.